All right, hey guys, this is James, video production specialist here at Video Guys, and today we are talking about a brand new product uh, from Epifan called Epifan Pearl Nexus, which is very similar but different to its brother, sister, whatever you want to call it, the Epifan Pearl Mini. Um, if you have watched our shows recently, you know that we like all of the Epifan Pearl systems uh, with their remote cloud features. So we are coming in, you know, thinking that you may have a basic understanding of what the Pearl systems are and what they do. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison chart to compare the Pearl Mini to the Pearl Nexus. So let's bring this up full screen and we'll go through uh, a lot of the similarities. You'll see a lot of things are very similar. Um, you know, the number of encoding channels, the number of video inputs and what they are, HDMI, SDI, USB, um, what kind of network inputs you can use, SRT, RTSP, NDI, HX, um, yep, one HDMI output, you can go up to 1080, 60p. Now, where it starts to differ is the storage, the form factor, and then um, their dimensions. So for the storage, the Pearl Mini has the ability to record internally to a SSD drive or to an external um, SD card, whereas the Pearl Nexus only has the ability to record internally to a one terabyte SSD drive. In terms of form factor, the Pearl Mini is slightly smaller, but it has a seven inch touchscreen on the top of it, which you can see here. And then the uh, Pearl Nexus actually doesn't have any screen or any buttons on it. It's designed to work completely over the network. And um, the Pearl Nexus with the mounts make it so it's actually uh, rack mountable, whereas the Pearl Mini does not have the option to be rack mounted. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Pearl Nexus. So as we said, these it's another member in the Epifan family of products, um, which is a cloud-based switcher. Um, these are very, very, very popular in you know schools, podcast centers, things like that, where you want to be able to control your device from basically anywhere in the world and you know not necessarily have to worry about it on location or if you're putting it into a space where um, you know the people that are going to be on camera aren't super technical um, and you want to just have your technical uh, advisor operating the remote uh, the machine remotely so again it's a three input switcher recorder uh, and um, streamer you have sdi hdmi usb and ndi hx inputs you have HDMI and RJ45 outputs. It has a one terabyte SSD internal drive. And then for audio, it has XLR, quarter inch, RCA, and 3.5 millimeter audio inputs. And uh, yeah, the great thing about these systems are that they can be controlled from the cloud with uh, Epifan Edge. Now we have a little bit of a product spotlight that Epifan did. So why don't we play that real quick? Hey, it's Dan here with Epifan Video, and today I'm thrilled to introduce Pearl Nexus, the first purpose-built rack mount capture appliance designed for both Pro AV and higher education. Pearl Nexus seamlessly works with your existing AV infrastructure to deliver a superior automated video capture experience at scale, whether in a classroom, courtroom, or presentation space. You can capture, enhance, record, and stream video with the legendary reliability and powerful creation tools that you come to expect from Epifan. With an included one terabyte SSD, robust CMS integrations, and automated file management, your content is safely recorded and delivered exactly where it needs to go. We worked closely with Pro AV leaders in the field to design the ultimate video capture appliance. Here's some of the things that they asked for and what we've delivered. Pearl Nexus fits at the center of your video workflow, seamlessly integrating with the hardware and software used in Pro AV environments. Whether you need physical connections or network sources, you'll have all the options for capturing Pro audio and video. Streaming includes all the modern protocols and we provide direct integrations with video platforms like Panopto, Kaltura, and Yuja. You can even connect to Zoom or Teams meetings to capture ISOs and push content. 
You'll never miss a recording or stream with Pearl Nexus. The powerful suite of automation and redundancy tools ensure your video always gets where it needs to go. You can schedule all your recordings and streams and deliver the files automatically as soon as your recording's complete. Managing your video workflows from a centralized hub has never been easier. Epifan Cloud gives you complete control for faster deployment, easy maintenance, and guaranteed uptime. This means that one person can manage hundreds of video spaces. You can use a web browser to configure the fully customizable layouts, switching, media playback, branding, and graphics. Presets let you set it and forget it so that any member of your team can become a pro video producer. Pearl Nexus is the ultimate pro AV capture, recording, and streaming appliance for environments where scalability, flexibility, and reliability are critical. To learn more, including detailed specs and how to order, visit epifan.com. So that was a great video that Epifan produced uh, about the Epifan Pro Nexus. And one thing that we love about the Pro Nexus and all of the Epifan devices are that they play nice with literally everything. You know, we already talked about, you know, having XLR inputs, having um, 3.5 millimeter inputs and SDI and HDMI and USB and NDI and SRT and RTSB but it also plays nice with all of your streaming platforms, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitch, any, uh, any RTMP destination. It plays nice with all of your lecture management platforms, uh, Panopto, Kaltura, Yuja, all of them. It works very, very well with them. And then of course, it also works well with all of your video conferencing um, platforms like Teams or Zoom or Skype or any other uh, video platform that you, uh, video meeting platform that you want to use. Uh, so that's another great thing about the Epifan. Now we talked about this a little bit with it being an Epifan device. This means that they're easy to manage at scale with you being able to remotely control all of these units. You will have the ability to, you know, have like a school that has, you know, a hundred classrooms in it. And you can put uh, one of these Pearl Nexuses into each and every classroom, put it on your network, and then have one IT person be able to manage every single unit in your entire uh, school or in your entire office or wherever you are with Epifan Edge to be able to start and stop recording, set up your, uh, your MEs, your layers, uh, set up the start and stop for uh, streaming and anything else that the device can do, you can control that all at a giant scale easily with Epifan Edge. One of the latest features that they did add to Epifan Edge was the automated recording and streaming for peace of mind. Now this works really well in, again, a school environment where you know that teacher A is going to be in classroom A at X time and that she is going to start you know, her lecture at that time, every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever days that they're gonna be uh, doing that class. And now, again, there's no buttons on the device. So with the automatic streaming and recording, you don't have to worry about, the teacher doesn't have to worry about setting it up because your IT person already set it up and it's basically set it and forget it. And you don't have to worry about anything. You set your cameras in there and it will automatically start your streaming or start your recording and you don't have to worry about anything. Now here's an example of a Pearl Nexus workflow. You can have up to three uh, camera sources connected to this. So in this example, we have one camera coming uh, via an SDI. Then you're taking the HDMI out of a computer to have, you know, maybe your slides, your PowerPoint presentation, and then you're adding one more camera via either uh, SRT or NDI over IP. Then you're taking your microphone or your audio mixer and you're bringing that into the XLR or USB. And then you're able to do local uh, storage for recording. You can take an HDMI out for a confidence monitor. And then again, you can send this to any RTMP or SRT destination all from the Pearl Nexus. So it's a complete workflow from start to finish to be able to uh, monitor, record, and stream, and mix all of uh, your devices. Now, we talk a lot about the Pearl 
the nexus and where that kind of fits into place. Now let's talk a little bit about the Pearl Mini. Now the Pearl Mini has been out for a little while now and they are very, very similar. Same number of inputs, same number of outputs. Um, recording capabilities are very similar. But as you can see on the Pearl Mini, there's a little touch screen on here. It's actually not little, it's a seven inch touch screen. And there is a place for this compared to a place for the Pearl Nexus. In my humble opinion, I see the Pearl, uh, Pearl Mini working more in a place where maybe um, you're renting out a studio and you have a podcast group that's coming in and you want to give them the control of the Pearl system. So again, you can still set up remotely the start and stop time. You can set up, you know, your, your different, um, your MEs for, you know, camera A, camera B, uh, all of your graphics and all of that, all in the cloud. And then just give the, the podcast host the ability to switch between, you know, uh, source A and source B locally so they can have a little bit of control but not total control whereas with the Pearl Nexus you don't get any control locally it's all done through the network so in a podcast situation or uh, you know an interview situation I, I see the Pearl Nexus uh, playing uh, uh, excuse me the Pearl Mini playing a little bit better of a role in a situation like that. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you can't use the Pro Minis in an education work, uh, workplace. And as a matter of fact, we have a case study where a ton of the Pro Minis are being used in an educational uh, department. So let's play that case study real quick. What's exciting for me is the opportunity to choose the technology that the faculty and students get to interact with in the classroom and how that shapes their future. Over the last few years, MTSU has invested into our classroom technology. We wanted to provide the same experience for our remote students as we do for our students that are here in person. Our classrooms have projectors, sound systems, document cameras, computers, laptops, lots of things that students in the classroom can see and hear. We need a device to be able to put all that together so that it could be recorded for students to view later or to see it streamed live. Software just wasn't working for us, so we started looking at hardware-based ways to accomplish our needs. I base a lot of my decisions on being able to manage the technology on a large scale. We have over 400 classrooms and I have a small staff. Even with just two people, I need to remotely control, configure, and manage the technology. We were able to do so with the Epifan Pearl Mini. With Pearl Mini, we take all of our sources, automate the start and stop of our recordings. It delivers video perfectly and simultaneously to Panopto and Zoom. And we can monitor it all live remotely from anywhere. So as you can see, Middle Tennessee State University is able to take literally hundreds of these Pearl Minis. And you could see in that video, some of them were sitting on desks or tables or um, lecture podiums, but some of them were under the lecture podium because they don't necessarily want the teacher to accidentally hit something or, you know, change a setting and then, you know, potentially make it so something malfunctions. And so, just like I said, you can use the Pearl Minis in a education work uh, environment, but I think that this is where a Pearl Nexus would fit perfectly in. Uh, not all teachers are, you know, technologically savvy. They're there to teach about the, the subject that they do have a lot of information on and they don't need to or want to have to worry about you know hitting the wrong button or setting a start or stop time and with the pro nexus they don't have to worry about it you don't even necessarily need to have the pro nexus at the podium with them it can be in the the back of the room it can be anywhere because they don't have to control it your it person can manage everything with epifan edge now I kind of wanted to just show you how similar these devices are because if you look at the workflow between a Epifan Pearl Nexus compared to an Epifan Pearl Mini, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, you can connect up to three video sources. You have your SDI camera in this example. You have a PowerPoint slide coming off of HDMI, and then you have your SRT or NDI uh, PTZ camera. Uh, and then you have the same audio interfaces 
And then again, you can record locally to the Pro Mini or you, and you can have an HDMI out for a confidence monitor. And then you can also output your video to any SRT or RTMP destination. So they're very similar, but each one of them kind of has a place where they fit better. Now, again, I just wanted to show you all of the ins and outs of the systems, um, which are pretty much identical. Um, again, the major differences between the units are this has no buttons. The Pro Nexus has no buttons on it and is rack mountable, whereas the Pro Mini has a touchscreen on it and is not rack mountable. So again, pros and cons to uh, where they work best. And um, yeah, so just keep in mind that if you are looking for an Epifan system, you can give us a call. We will help find the right one for you. And the Pearl Nexus is in stock available now at videoguys.com. You can check out the link right there. And if you have any questions about um, you know, either the Pearl Nexus or the Pearl Mini, or maybe even the Pearl Nano or the Pearl 2, give us a call 800-323-2325, and we would be more than happy to find the right Epifan system for your workflow. Um, we'll be back next Tuesday, 3 o'clock Eastern on YouTube and Facebook. And so just make sure to follow us on YouTube. No, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.